might be young at heart but we're still dreaming eyes wide open leave this place behind no matter what they say yeah because we're stronger than iron we won't let them break us down now we're heading over the clouds because we're walking on air walking on air feeling high over the surface walking on air yeah we're walking on air walking on air going way beyond the horizon walking on air The road. My arm's getting sore. All right, guys, let's go. Alright guys, so this is a typical logging road in British Columbia, Canada. Um, they're pretty rough roads and I know the camera is not showing the angles here, but if you look at the trees in a lot of spots compared to the road, you'll notice that a lot of this country is really steep. We're booting up here um, around 4,000 feet of altitude. And this is just a typical road on a typical day that the loggers in BC have to deal with. I drive these roads for fun. It gets me out in the bush and something to do on the weekend if I'm not flying or doing other activities. Uh, I like to look for wildlife and I didn't see any today, mind you. Uh, no bears, no moose, no deer, no elk, none of that. But it is a lot of fun just to go out on these roads and go for a cruise and see where they go. Now this road, where this is going, is called Frenchman's Ridge, and it used to be a fantastic spot for dirt biking. There was really neat trails going up here that I'll show you farther ahead in the video here. Um, but the logging has kind of ruined that now from the best, from what I can see. And it's too bad, but at the same time, without logging roads, we wouldn't be able to get into so many of these backcountry places that we can. So it's 
I guess it's just a necessary evil. So anyway, let's go for a little walk over here and check things out. Anyone ever drive a skitter before? This is an oldie. I have. Yeah, this is part of the the shortcut trail. Oh man, this was so beautiful up here. This was one of our shortcut trails and then the main trail went up through the gully. It was so much fun. I love dirt bike in this section here. Dang. Yep. These rocks always caused issues. There's another set one way or the other that's even worse. But anyway, guys, we, uh, we can't see much here. Town of Golden, right down in there. So yeah, that's that. Hasn't been anybody riding these trails this year by the looks of it. That's too bad. I was up here just a year or so ago. You'll see the whole length of this road that we drive. It's all trail up above it. And I would come and keep this stuff clean. Crazy. All right, let's get back to the truck and uh, carry on the road. We're going to start part of this descent here. Almost not a road right here, but this is part of the old road and trail system. Nice if we saw a black bear, you usually see one up here. There's a cable across the road, you can see it lying there. It used to freak me out on my dirt bike, man. So I didn't realize when I was coming up here that I was coming up the old road I used to come up on my dirt bike. So I've turned around now, guys. I'm backtracking. I've already driven all the way in here Check out that view. That beautiful. I'm going to stop for a second. Hopefully I can get you a close up. I can get you a close up. Kicking Horse Canyon. 
up ahead. So like I was saying, I I didn't realize, I, I thought I was coming up this part of the road. I thought this was the old dirt bike trail, old skid trail we used to use. And now I've confirmed it, now that I've seen that cable on the road, another piece here. Um, and I'm surprised I came up that in my truck, to be quite honest. Not that it won't do it, but these new trucks, man, they don't work like the old trucks did. I'll tell you what, I'll take my old Chevy 4x4 any day over these new trucks. So now it's time to get this thing into low gear. All right. So I just shifted into four low and first gear. This is steep, so you guys hang on. Probably doesn't show how steep it is, but trust me when I say it's at least 45 degrees if not more in spots. You can see my spin tracks on the way up and I was in four low and I was still spinning. Big water bars here. Just gotta watch you don't ground out on those. And it just finished pouring rain. So to be honest, this is slippery as well. But thankfully there's some gravel on it, so not too bad. But this is a goat trail, guys. This is a goat trail. The weather was too volatile today to fly, so thought I'd take you guys for a drive out here. That mountain there, I've thermaled over that a number of times back in the day when I was doing just paragliding. That's some of my biggest lift in front of that mountain. 10 meters up, maintain. So we are close to the edge here. Don't want to be falling off that edge. And I'm right now the anti-locks are on and I'm sliding. Hear that? That's what I don't like about the new trucks. I mean, the anti-locks okay, but it kind of let the truck go a little bit and I don't like that. Had I had to, I would have given it gas and drove the shit out of this, dropped the camera and continue on. But you guys could probably hear that. It's that slippery because of the rain we've had and it's that steep that I was actually sliding. I'm old hat at this stuff though. Uh, not overly concerned. I think I'll put the traction control off. Traction control's off. But that's not traction control. That's the anti-lock brakes. And as soon as they started dinking around while I was sliding, so they tried to control it, but I'd rather be able to dig my brakes in, or put my brakes on hard, and then you can dig in and you get some dirt build up in front of the tires, which sometimes will give you a little bit of a mound. It'll help to slow you down a little bit. big water bar anti-locks kicking in again this is a little mucky here so it won't surprise yeah here we go okay that's full brakes and you can hear it we're just sliding and again back ends coming around a bit so yeah she's pretty steep boys the big water bar and I hate because if you, your anti-lock start coming on it lets you pick up speed and then you hit those water bars and bounce your truck pretty hard So a new thing they started doing now in the bush, uh, they, they started to realize that creatures are living 
in some of the, see those dead wood piles, scrap piles? They found that creatures are living in those, uh, mice, squirrels, chipmunks, marmot, uh, and bears will even den up if they get a big enough pile to den up inside of it. So now they have signs on all these little piles, sensitive habitat, do not disturb. And that's, they're doing a test and they're gonna look at that over the years and see what the, this is steep here, guys. We're facing right down at the dirt. Don't want to rub my bumper, so I'm going really slow. Does that look like habitat to you? They say it is. Woo! That was a ride, guys. I'm actually surprised I made it up that. But it had just started to rain when I started, so I guess no huge surprise. Anyway, guys, that was the road. Friggin' insane. We were up there and higher. Anyway, I'm taking a drive to the end of this road. If I see anything cool, I'll let you guys join in. If not, I hope you enjoyed this rip on this little road. And I hope you're all having a great day and uh, hopefully you have a good coming week. So if you're new to the ch uh, channel, welcome and subscribe button and like the video. Also hit the notification bell. Um, a little bit of Canadiana goes on here. We do a little bit of flying, camping, hiking, driving, all kinds of stuff, fishing. Um, yeah, so thanks for joining and we'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya. Where we are, guys. Safe to say that's locked. <laughs> I would say so.